welcome to Healthy Building Summit 2018. Um, for those of you that couldn't be here, we're going to take some highlights and uh, show you a little of the research and give you an idea of what happens here. So maybe uh, for Healthy Building Summit 2019, we'll see you. Thanks for joining us and watching the video. We'll hopefully see you next year. Observation leads to sometimes understanding and solving the problem. Sometimes it leads to an unbelievably important question. If we march forward together, you will be a better inspector because you'll know what I need, the type of information. You will look at areas maybe a little bit more carefully. Maybe we'll talk about where the kids go and travel and play. It's going just to maintain. Right? Just the primary things, just the things that they absolutely need to maintain. But when you add a little bit of water, these whole communities start to come alive. They not just grow, but they upregulate not only the primary metabolic pathways, but the secondary metabolic pathways. I think I have the chamber, the initial chamber, at minus 10 pascals going in, so air is whirring through. And then all of a sudden, in the uh, meter goes to positive 70 pascals inside the chamber. Positive 70. So what I'm talking about here are the basics for indoor air quality. We use sampling methods. We may interpret any sample result, but there's some sample results you simply cannot interpret because you use the wrong sampling method. It controls the cascade of germination. That is, when a fungal spore is dormant and then decides to come out, right? When the, when the humidity gets to a certain point, this enzyme detects it and it says, okay, time to germinate. We have to keep, keep in mind here that people make decisions based on things that I don't necessarily care about, you don't necessarily care about, that it's uh, like anything else, it's, you know, the best you can do is give people good information. <laughs>